Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Before we start, kindly turn on the subtitles and keep the spoilers at bay. The movie begins with Lucy Hutton, a 28-year-old working at Bexley and Game Publishing, sitting at her desk. She shares the workspace with Joshua Templeman, and they both report to CO executives Helen Pascal and Richard Bexley. Lucy's deep-seated loathing for Joshua is one of her defining traits. Each morning, she finds herself consumed with thoughts of her animosity towards him. The two of them indulge in immature and unprofessional games, and Lucy only puts an effort at work when she turns it into a contest with Joshua, who she considers her mortal enemy. They both despise each other and have a negative perception of one another. Lucy is thinking about how to beat Joshua at work and how she can handle everything. And she looks at Joshua and thinks that all he wears is blue colors. She counts the days in her head, and on which day Joshua has worn light blue, on which day he has warrantied blue, medium blue, and Savoy blue. And with that thought she is disturbed by the thought that why does she think about him, she should hate him and she gets back to work. In the next scene, they are both called to a meeting of CEOs and they are about to announce the great news both Mr. Bexley and Helene want their executive assistant to fill the role of chief operating officer when they announce the creation of a new post. They look at each other with grim smiles because none of them wants the other one to win. At that moment, she pondered how to defeat him, and all she could focus on was him. She wanted him to regret messing with her, just like his actions and behavior had messed up her mind. She began to craft plans and consider how to execute them. After intensifying her rivalry with Josh, Lucy returned home and phoned her mother. Her mother asked if she was going out for the weekend and urged her to find a man. Lucy said she was going out with her girlfriends. Her mother asked why she wasn't going out with the man from her office whom she always boasts about. Lucy needed clarification and wondered why she constantly thought of Josh. With that thought, Lucy went to bed and dreamt of him intimately. She woke up in the middle of the night thinking about the steamy dream she had about Josh. In that moment, she came up with an awful idea. The next day, she with thought of she walked into the office, Josh noticed her and complimented her outfit. He asked if she had a date, and she lied, saying she was dressed up for one. Joshua inquired about the location, and she lied again, saying they were going to the same place coincidentally, even though she had made it up. This made Lucy feel more awkward when he asked if anyone from the office was going, and she lied again, saying someone was, but in reality, she had dressed up to impress Josh. She went downstairs and asked designer Danny to go out with her because he didn't believe her. After seeing her in the black dress, Josh, who secretly likes Lucy, became more interested in her and her day. As they entered the lift, Josh asked if she needed a ride to the cafe, but she declined, saying she would walk instead. Josh pointed out her high heels and cautioned her that she might hurt her feet. Lucy became angry, but her anger dissipated as she got a closer look at him. They locked eyes, and in that moment, Joshua couldn't resist and kissed her in the elevator. When the elevator stopped, they both became very awkward and fell silent. Josh dropped her off at the cafe, where Danny was waiting for her. He offered her his umbrella as it was raining outside, but she refused and rushed out of the car. Lucy entered the cafe and greeted Danny, but she couldn't stop thinking about the kids. She excused herself to go to the restroom. Suddenly, Josh appeared, and she shouted at him for ruining her night. She thought about how men could manipulate her, and he complimented her black dress. Josh claimed he wasn't there to ruin her night and returned her bag that she had left in the car that night. He even insisted on taking her to her date. Lucy was surprised that she liked it, but she still went on her date with Danny and was upset with Josh for ruining her night. The next day, she searched Joshua's desk for evidence to use against him and discovered codes in his day planner that she couldn't understand. Later, a Smurf figurine was delivered to Lucy by the mailman to add to her collection. Joshua criticized her for worrying too much about what people thought of her. Joshua unintentionally made Lucy feel lonely and homesick by teasing her about growing up on a strawberry farm. 
The following day, she received roses with a note that read you're always gorgeous, and she suspected Danny was the sender. At work, Lucy felt happy and Josh asked her if they could forget about their kiss from the night before. Lucy agreed, and Josh asked what game they should play next. Lucy suggested they act like normal colleagues and not fight all the time. Josh gave her a funny look. At that moment, their boss walked in and asked about the campaign. Lucy shared her idea for new promotions, but Josh interrupted and called it boring. Here and he has always submitted a promotion with a paintball game idea, which has been approved. That moment Lucy has a flash and she thinks of choking Josh to death, but she comes back to her sense and says, okay, we're gonna play a gun game now. The next day Josh's idea comes to life and everyone is at a paintball game played at work to foster camaraderie as they are getting dressed to play the game. Lucy looks pale and Josh checks her and says that she's burning, but she ignores him and goes to play the game. Danny steps in and asks Lucy if they can team up for the game, but Josh stops him there and says that the teams are pre-selected and that Lucy and Josh are a team. While playing a game, Lucy was determined to win, but Josh tried to protect her from getting hit. However, she was stubborn and got hurt when she went ahead. They both fell to the ground, and Josh asked everyone to stop the game. As Lucy removed her helmet, Josh noticed she was burning up. Before she could say anything, she vomited on him. Though he cared for her deeply, he didn't show it and took her back to her house. Joshua helped her get home when she became seriously ill. When he realized that there was no one else to care for her, he stayed to do so. Although she asked him to leave, he tried to calm her down, but she vomited again. Josh called his brother, who was a doctor, to check up on Lucy as his whole family was full of doctors. After checking up on Lucy, Josh's brother asks him to rest and goes to another room to prescribe medicine for Lucy. Lucy overhears Joshua chatting to his brother Patrick, a doctor, about getting married as he invites him over to look at Lucy. Joshua is persuaded by Patrick to attend the wedding and to bring Lucy after that. Josh puts Lucy to bed and in the morning he makes her breakfast and cleans her house. Lucy gets very much weird about it and tells him not to use any of the tactics against her at work, and which when Danny Josh off, she sees and strawberry and juices instant. on her table which she when told Lucy Josh comes to the when office. she was ill. She is Josh confronted and by Lucy Dan, grew more intimate due to he her brings illness, her flowers and, and takes her to her she office. she didn't despise him. Joshua was upset when he kissed her on the cheek and invited her to supper that evening. When she arrived, she found a juice on the table with a card. She realized the flower from earlier that week was from Josh and she became embarrassed because she had bragged to Danny that he had given her all the flowers. She wanted to thank Josh and asked if she could do anything to return the favor, even offering to attend his brother's wedding. He resisted her attempts, but Lucy pushed him into the storeroom. Lucy wanted to return the favor to Danny, but things got awkward and she asked him to kiss her. Danny refused, saying that she used to kiss her father that way. He told her that if she didn't feel anything when they kissed, then he wished them well. Lucy realized that she felt nothing, and they decided to remain friends. Later, on the sidewalk, she and Joshua crossed paths. She confessed that no one could kiss her like he did, and they kissed. She noticed that his bedroom was Robin's egg blue, and he explained that he didn't want to have sex with her yet since he wanted to. Take things slow. Lucy called Joshua after work but hung up. Later, she went to his place and they made out, but he refused to kiss her. Joshua informed Mr. Bexley that he didn't need help in removing Lucy from her position at work. He felt used by her. Joshua felt uneasy when he met Danny for coffee to discuss Lucy's interview presentation. The next day, when they were supposed to leave for the wedding, Joshua asked Lucy to bring her weekend bag to work. The following day, Lucy overheard Joshua and Mr. Bexley arguing, and she became worried about what they were discussing. Lucy and Joshua flirted and admitted their attraction to each other on the way to the wedding. She even confessed that he was the subject of her erotic dream and had to fabricate a story about dating Danny. Joshua and Lucy were having a good time at the hotel when Joshua's mother and Elaine called to ask for help with the wedding decorations. When Joshua returned, 
Lucy was already dozing off. Joshua confessed to Lucy that in the past, women were only interested in his appearance, and after getting to know him, they moved on to a decent guy. Joshua seemed upset about the wedding, and eventually, Lucy discovered that the bride, Mindy, was Joshua's ex-girlfriend. Lucy suspected that he must have brought her as a rebound date. Elaine reassured her that this was not true and that Lucy was unique from everyone who had come before. Joshua stopped Lucy from leaving by explaining that he didn't need moral support for Mindy, but rather he needed support because his father, Anthony, who had broken his heart, needed it. After their first date on Christmas Day, Jeffrey Tice and Joshua Hartley became a couple. They both wanted to propose to each other, and Joshua proposed to Jeffrey on their 21-month anniversary. A few weeks later, Jeffrey proposed to Joshua and they eventually married at the National Veterans Memorial and Museum in Franklinton. During their wedding reception, they danced with family and friends to John Denver's Country Roads. Lucy stood up for Joshua and extolled his wonderful qualities to Anthony at the wedding brunch. Joshua and Lucy acknowledged that they were in love and Joshua revealed that he had painted his bedroom in her eye color, which flattered Lucy. He then told her he loved her and wanted to end their fight. They agreed to start over that night and not worry about work or anything else. The next day, Lucy overhears a conversation between Josh and her boss, but she misunderstands it. She believes that Josh has been using their romance to distract her from the promotion and becomes enraged. Lucy vows to beat him just for the job. She talks to Danny about her belief that Josh loves her and thinks that he's telling the truth. However, the truth is that Josh does love her, and all he can think about is Lucy. He has a plan, and he was only pretending in that conversation with the CEO. This video is over. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.